Hi, Bob Shearer here and we are going to take a look at setting up institutional tuning using a closed loop sensor. So, we are going to go out to the garage and place a task surface about here, which is a folding table. We are going to install a lamp, 0 to 10 volt dimming, about there. Let me see if I can get this situated properly. And we are going to place a closed loop photo sensor about here. And because this is truly a daylighting sensor, we're going to need to set it up for daylighting. And we are going to do that because that's what the manufacturer's instructions say for setup right here because we need to set it up for daylighting, we are going to need artificial lighting to set the second point on its two-point calibration. And right in the middle of all the action, right about here, we're going to pick a task location and we are going to put a light meter in and we are going to take some 32 watt lamps in this 0 to 10 volt dimming ballast and we are going to tune it down and then we are going to replace the 32 watt lamps with some 25 watt lamps to simulate dim down and yellowing over time. So we'll have to tune the 32 watt lamps down which were giving me about 23 and a half foot candles to below what the 25 watts give me which is about 18 and we hit at about 17 and let's go take a look at setting this critter up and getting it to work properly. We are going to try an exciting experiment today where we have a closed loop photo sensor that we are going to try to use to set up automatic lumen maintenance for institutional tuning. Now, I have 32 watt bulbs at 5,000 and I have eight, 25 watt bulbs at 4,100. So I figure that if I install the 25 watt bulbs, uh, that will simulate this uh, luminaire that we're using in the room uh, becoming dim and yellowed due to age. So. Uh, we're going to set up a closed loop daylighting controller. Uh, we want to bring the 32 waters to down somewhat below 18 foot candles because we know we should be able to get that out of the 25 waters. And then we're going to see if it compensates properly when we uh, simulate aging of the lamps by removing the 32 waters and putting the 25 waters in. We've got about 23 and a half watt, uh, foot candles uh, for the 32 watt bulbs and about 18 was what I was reading on the 25s. So let's proceed. Now, the 32 watt bulbs are 4 foot Phillips F32s and F25s. The daylighting controller is an LS301 0 to 10 volt and we're using an advanced Mark 7 ballast. So what I'm going to do is set this thing for night time. What I did was calibrate it backwards and uh, that messed it all up and left it flashing at me. So we're going to start all over with a nice fresh uh, calibration under no daylight conditions of approximately 16 foot candles and there we have it and then I'm going to tell it I'm done with the nighttime calibration if you can see that okay and it's holding okay good so I'm going to bring in a partial daylight of hopefully around 12 once this thing mellows out down she goes um, 
All right, well, we've got 30. So that's good enough for a partial because uh, it's 16 plus 14, and 14 is uh, probably is less than 90% uh, of uh, 16. So now we uh, tell it uh, we're going to do its partial, and we want to bring it down to around 16 again, if it will go. All right. A lucky us. We take it up a little, about 16 on the uh, light meter. Then I'm going to tell it I'm finished with my daytime calibration. Okay. And uh, then I'm going to place it back in auto. And hopefully it will hold there, showing us that, the, that, that we got a good calibration. Okay, I don't see it moving. So we're at about 16, which uh, the 25 waters ought to be able to reach um, when we put them back in. And so what I'm going to do is kill our artificial daylight. And we should see the sensor come back up to 16 or so. This may take a while. So I'll get back with you. Okay, well we're actually more like uh, 16.5 to 17 fluctuating somewhat. Uh, let's see what happens when we put the 25 watt bulbs back in. Okay, somehow after the total calibration we came out about a foot candle high. We're reading 17 versus the 16 we were shooting for. That's not too bad. And it proves that these 25 watt bulbs that are yellower and dimmer uh, than the uh, original 32 watt 5000 K's we put in because the 25 waters are only 4100 K uh, that might be simulating the dimming of a lens uh, the 32 waters were capable of 23.5 we ended up setting them down to about 17, not 16, but 17, okay? Um, we, we, we tuned those down there. The 25 waters could only put out 18. That's all you can get out of them. And when we uh, reinstalled them, uh, they went to 17 foot candles. So this shows you that you can do automatic lumen maintenance uh, with a daylighting sensor, a closed loop daylighting sensor, and it should work just fine. And this would be a supply closet or an interior office or something like that. Because it's a daylighting sensor, you have to set it up to where uh, the way the manufacturer recommends it takes a two-point cal. Otherwise, it's likely to reject it. And in the case of this one, it'll just wink at you. Uh, but this proves that you can set up automatic lumen maintenance uh, for institutional tuning right that you can tune this thing down because from 23.5 to 17 is quite a tune down uh, it's in fact uh, uh, 23.5 minus 17 divided by 23.5 equals uh, a 27 percent tune down uh, Anything over 30%, you need to start looking at the life of the bulbs and whatnot. Uh, that you and in, with LEDs in particular, a tune down of more than 30% from what they're capable of putting out is uh, excessive because their life is rated at a dim down of 30%. So this experiment worked just fine. We had 32 watt lamps and 25 watt lamps and these are to simulate aging and yellowing these are 5000 K these are 4100 K these were capable of producing approximately 18 foot candles at our reference location and the 32 waters were capable of doing 23 and a half so we needed to tune these down to below 
the maximum output of the 25 waters and then when we reinstall the 25 watt lamps we want the controller to bring them back up to our setting for the 32 watt lamps and this will simulate uh, a lot of aging and yellowing in a fluorescent lamp and as you saw it worked fine uh, I was delighted so there you have a practical uh, demonstration of setting up and then testing with this rather odd method uh, institutional tuning in a non-daylit space.